First of all, Colin, congratulations on concluding this MTK deal. How did it all come about? Um, it all started when I was in Malaysia, when Maruti Ntilani won the IBF World Championship beating um, Hamid Wasim. And MTK approached me then. We had a meeting shortly after the bout. Um, it was an hour meeting that turned out to be two hours. And I was invited to come to the head office in Dubai uh, a few months later to talk about my role and how we could progress with MTK and obviously within the African boxing continent. And the deal was set then and we ironed out our terms and uh, here we are. So it's quite in a big, big, it's a very big achievement for me because it's not just South Africa, it's the whole continent. And uh, being given the title of head of MTK Africa, it's very exciting. What do you think you can do for the MTK Africa? I think all you need to do is take a look at what I did in South African boxing last year. And, 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 and if you look at what we did and how we boosted South African boxing, not just, I guess, locally with Azinga Pazili, but also internationally with Heki and, and Ruti, I think uh, there's your answer right there. So my, my objective is to get the best deal possible for the fighters, not just in South Africa. I will be flying around the continent, signing up talented fighters. And I just want to make champions for the company. That's my objective, is to make dreams come true, make champions, world champions for the company, and provide great platforms and paydays for the fighters too. And just to educate the South African and African audience on who is MTK and what, it, what can they bring to this? So it's the biggest management boxing, biggest boxing management company in the world. Um, one of our biggest clients is Tyson Fury. I don't have to tell you who that is. Who produced the moments of the year last year in the 12th round when he got up on that devastating knockdown. Um, so basically, it's a professional platform for management where we take and look after fighters' well-being and their interests. And uh, we have a base all over the world with our head office being in Dubai. Um, and it's just, yeah, it's just great. I noticed that you got the No Doubt Management and MTK there now. It's showing Correct. on your banner. Is this your, your new... Outfit? No, it's so actually, I will be MTK Africa, but uh, I'll keep my local company because remember, I still consult for various promoters in the country. So I won't just turn my back on my local company. Um, I also have a... Um, I'm also going to be bringing over a few fighters to the company, but by and large, obviously, No Doubt Management will be a consulting company for for various people within the framework of boxing. You've got a lot of South African boxers that are not known to the world. Does yes. this provide them with that platform? That's one of my objectives, to make African boxing be great. You know, We have the talent, we just don't necessarily have the platforms. And I think with a powerful management brand like MTK behind us here in Africa, I think those opportunities will present themselves. Like I'm going to say, it's my dream and my objective to make dreams come true in boxing, and that's to produce world champions and these fighters to earn what they truly are worth and the, the value and potential to. Have you and MTK set out immediate goals, long-term goals, things like that? Um, we've discussed you know, fights going forward. Um, I'm also going to be bringing some of my fighters across um, to the company, which I'm really excited about. But you know, we'll take it one day at a time, um, scheduled to fly out from our first MTK trip next week. I'm going to be signing to Young Prospects. So it's very, very, very exciting. Um, also, I, I won't be training all of these fighters. I, mean, I simply just can't. So I still got my stock of fighters, which I, I still have a passion for. And it's just, it'll be managing you know, their careers and their accounts. and. and providing the great platforms that I believe that these fighters deserve. So you obviously can't give away too much. Uh, for the press releases. <laughs> okay. Where can, um, where, can we, where can we find you within the next month? Any fighters going, have any fights going on with you guys? Um, we're still finalizing stuff. I've got some stuff coming up in March. Um, but if the guys need to get hold of me, uh, they can contact me on Facebook or my email address on c.nathan at mtkglobal.com. Um, Anytime. Do you have a, spe a specific criteria that you're looking at personally for your company? Uh, yeah, obviously I need a, a kid who's got the potential and the talent. I uh, can't just sign anyone for the company. Uh, the fighter has to have some sort of, you know, decent amateur background and pedigree. And also if the fighter has potential in the professional ranks, I, I'll be interested. You know, I can't work with a kid who's got two wins and ten losses. Unfortunately, you know, boxing's a business. 
Um, so it's, it'll all boil down to, you know, the talent. And obviously I'll be looking at flight footage and flying to these countries and to these places also around South Africa to take a look at the talent. Alternatively, you know, sending them up here for, for a training camp to see what they can produce and so forth. So it's very exciting. Um, yeah, I got announced yesterday and my email box was, uh, my inbox for MTK was already starting to get busy. So very excited and I think it's just great for African boxing. And I just want to develop African fighters. I think we've got the talents. We, we just don't have the platforms and if we can provide those platforms. Um, I think boxing is in just such a great healthy position at the moment and I think last year proved that. The various networks covering boxing now and I think the various networks, they, they want good, decent content and I think MTK, Africa having these decent fighters on the books can provide that content for these networks. So it's very exciting. I think the two go hand in hand. I think they complement each other. So I just think it's a really exciting time in African boxing and South African boxing. And I think if you thought last year was a great year internationally for boxing, I think potentially this can be even a better year internationally for boxing too. Lastly, got to thank anyone for this move. Yeah, I, Michael Tamura. Um, we, uh, we go back 17 years. Uh, good friend of mine, um, a brother. And also the guys, uh, Bobby Allen, my boss now on MTK Global. But I'm just very grateful to be in this position. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And there are not many people who can say that they go to work loving what they do. I love, love what I do. And, you know, my career has taken on a different turn. We saw that last year. And I believe I have a lot to offer and a lot to produce. And I, I believe that I'm the right man for the job. And I will produce what's due. And that's all champions. Congratulations, Colin. Thank you.